Hey guys, welcome back to youtube.com slash one hour shower. How to quit smoking. I smoked for seven years and I quit successfully and I just passed my two year anniversary of being smoke free. I spent thousands of dollars on cigarettes and potentially missed making new friends in a lot of different places. If you're watching this and you smoke cigarettes, I highly suggest you quit. When I confronted my smoking and the habits that came along with it, I said to myself one thing. I said, what would the 40-year-old one-hour shower be saying to, at the time, the 26-year-old one-hour shower? And he would probably say, one-hour shower, please, quit smoking. My life is very difficult right now. Just getting outside, being active with my family poses challenges. So do that to yourself. Ask yourself, what would the 60 or 70 year old version of you say to the you right now, the smoker? He or she would probably be on his hands or knees begging you to quit. Because the process of dying that hits smokers in their late stages of life is very painful. It's, it's most of the time fought alone. It's a battle that people fight on their own. And it comes with hours and hours, months and months, years and years of sitting or laying in a chair or a bed and it's miserable. I've seen it firsthand. Death from smoking, cancer, is very vicious and it's scary. So quit smoking. But today, I'm gonna get out of that crazy talk, that dark talk, and we're gonna talk about the here and now. We're gonna get you to quit smoking. There are probably one of two things that brought you to this video. Maybe three, maybe you just clicked on it because I have a cute face. The one of two things that make people stop doing things are a near-death experience or complete and utter disgust in oneself. Hopefully it's the latter that brought you here. Hopefully it's disgust in yourself that brought you here. Two other reasons that I quit smoking when I did was my company that I worked for banned it on campus and I couldn't afford it anymore. It was draining my pockets and my bank account. Crazy money. Here's what I did to quit smoking and hopefully it helps you in your journey to quit. The first thing I did was when I was in line to buy cigarettes I decided to buy nicotine lozenges. I didn't have a quit date in mind. I knew at that very moment that I wanted to quit. While I was in the store, I also picked up bottles of water, multivitamins, nicotine patches, tons and tons of gum, wintergreen breath mints. They were lifesavers or breath savers. They were my favorite. They still are one of my favorite candies. I bought the water to distract myself, sip it all the time, keep my hands occupied. I bought the multivitamins to supplement some of the negative feelings I'd be having. I bought the gum to also distract my hands and mouth. And I bought the nicotine lozenges and patches in order to still get my nicotine dose while separating from the actual cigarette itself. When I got home, I grabbed the stress ball that I had laying around. I talked to my friends, I talked to my family, I told them my intentions. And so the quitting process began. When I quit, I used the three D's. Distract yourself, deep breath, drink water. I would distract myself with a wiffle ball or a hacky sack or a tennis ball or a phone call to a friend or a family member. I would take a nice deep breath or two to calm those nerves. After breathing deep for a couple of seconds, you actually feel the nerves beginning to calm and you're gonna feel these intense urges to smoke, but they only last 20 to 30 seconds at a clip. So if you can hang in there and fight them, it will pass. I promise you it will pass. And then I would take a nice big sip of water. I also avoided smokers and people that I knew might smoke. I avoided red meat like steak and cheeseburgers because the taste in your mouth after you eat that type of thing makes you wanna smoke. I ate more apples and oranges and celery and carrots because smoking doesn't go hand in hand with those things. They are full, packed with nutrition. Tweaking your diet a little bit makes a big difference in the quitting process. Pick a quit date. Start now. Pick it. And when that date comes, put on a nicotine patch, 21 milligrams, step one. Or buy some lozenges. Nicotine lozenges really help me. When I use them, I would put them in my mouth. I would move them around for a second or two and then let it sit in a certain section of my mouth and it allowed nicotine to actually go into my body and I wasn't smoking. Since I quit, life has been so much better for me personally. I no longer have that commitment or that bond to cigarettes so I'm able to fully engulf myself in different things, a party or work or school or fun or if I'm on a date. I can actually complete something now without always having to go back to the cigarette. It was always me going back to the cigarette. 
I'd be able to do something, but only for so long. I'd have to go back to the cigarette. And it was miserable. My car smells good, my bedroom smells good, my whole home smells good. And the money you save from quitting is tremendous. You will literally stack up, if you're, if you're a pack a day type of person, you will stack up thousands of dollars. You'll actually see the money begin to grow. People will say it's $7 a pack, it's $6, it's $8, but the truth is it's $10 a pack and here's why. Usually to make a minimum on a debit card purchase, you have to hit the $10 mark. And if you choose not to do that and you don't have cash, you go to the ATM and take out 10 or 20 and you're always charged a dollar or two from the ATM or from your bank to get that money out. So it always bumps the price up a little bit, plus the gas needed to get to the store to buy the cigarettes. So quit guys, quit. For financial reasons, for health reasons, for social reasons, if you want to meet a girl or meet a boy to go out with and have a date with, you have a better chance if you quit smoking. I'm telling you, smokers are the minorities now. I see it. I notice it. When I see a smoker, it looks weird to me now. For a while, I felt like all I saw was smokers after I quit. I'm like, where were they when I smoked? But now that I quit, and it's been a couple of years, I don't even notice smokers anymore. And when I do, I wish them luck because I know how hard it can be. If you guys have any other questions or you have different methods or approaches, drop a comment down below. Message me. Make sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash one hour shower. As always, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys around. Peace.